everybody and welcome to a very special video. Yay! I never thought I'd have enough subscribers to make a video like this, but you guys have asked for it, you guys have voted, and here it is. Here is my Q&A. What inspired you to do Redstone? Well, of course, firstly, I obviously watched Mumbo Jumbo. I mean, <laughs> who wouldn't watch Mumbo Jumbo? <laughs> and I watched people like FedEx Gaming, and they got me into it, but as soon as I started making my own redstone, I just found it really fun and enjoyable, so I didn't really need an incentive, as it were, to play it, because I just really enjoyed it. What is your background with Minecraft? Funnily enough, I actually played PE way before I even played Java. I used to play PE when it literally first came out, so no redstone. Steve used to make a funny noise when he got hurt and things like that. And then I bought Java because I wanted to do a bit of the redstone, but then literally as I bought it, then redstone became a big thing on PE. <laughs> so I quickly moved off J uh, Java again, straight back onto PE, and I've stuck on it ever since. And how did you learn so fast? Pure natural talent. No, no, of course that's not true at all. Uh, like I said earlier, I used to watch people like FedEx Gaming, Mumbo, they were really great just to learn the basics of redstone. But of course, PE was different to Java. <laughs> that took me a while to understand. <laughs> Um, but if I wanted something like a 3x3 piston door, I would just try and make it. And most of the time, yes, I would completely fail, but that's how I learn better, but that's just personal preference. Do you only play creative, or do you like survival as well? Now, as we all know, redstone is a lot easier in creative. So most of the time I will play creative, but I do enjoy survival as well. I don't play it as much as I used to, but I do like it. Do you have a redstone testing world? Yep. Oh, you want to see it? Oh, here it is. Now, unfortunately, I don't actually use this redstone testing world as much as I used to because this world is on my iPad and I don't do a lot of my redstone testing now on my iPad. I prefer to use Windows 10 edition, but hopefully when they update it so you can switch over worlds to different platforms, then I can use it more, but on my PC. What is your favorite way to make a T flip-flop? This way, the only way. What made you like Bedrock Edition more than any other version, such as Java? Simply put, it's because I'm used to PE. I played it so much when it first started, and it's just carried forth. So yeah, I prefer Bedrock Edition now, and I understand the redstone more, so that it does help. <laughs> How long does it take you to build your really complex contraptions for the first time? Now this is a fantastic question, but unfortunately the answer is a bit meh. <laughs> because the answer is, it varies. It really does. For example, uh, my redstone shop I made only a few weeks ago, that was quite an easy build, really. The redstone is not that hard, but that took me forever. Not because I found the redstone hard, it was because I just found better ways to do certain things, and I redesigned the whole thing about nine times. It was a bit crazy in the end. <laughs> but then you take something like my fastest 5x5 seamless cave door, which actually the redstone is a lot harder than the shop. I did that really quickly, so it just varies. What redstone build would you recommend for new players or players who don't use redstone often? I would recommend building a 2x2 Jeb door. Now the reason I recommend a 2x2 Jeb door is because it teaches you order. Because when I was first making redstone I could never understand how the outer pistons extended first, but then they somehow retracted last and I could never get my head around it, until I made it myself and I learned the order. And that really does help with making other piston doors as well, the order in which things fire. What is the weirdest thing you have seen in Minecraft? Uh, probably when one of my builds works first time. <laughs> Probably. What question should I ask? Definitely not this one. What inspired you to start making YouTube videos? Basically, it was when they updated P to Bedrock and Xbox to Bedrock. I just saw a lot of people not liking Redstone anymore, and I still had quite a few creations which I thought were quite good. <laughs> I thought they were good anyway. And I thought, well, I might just post them and see if you like them. It started with a 3x3 piston dog. I couldn't find a tutorial for that, so I thought I'd post that. But unfortunately, by the time I posted it, a few people had made one already, so that was kind of annoying. <laughs> What editor do you use for your videos? Well, when I first started making videos, I used Windows Movie Maker, <laughs> and you can probably tell because the videos weren't that great. But then as soon as I started getting more views and I realized I needed to improve my editing, I started to use a program called DaVinci Resolve, and I would highly recommend it. It's so, so easy to use, and it's a really powerful tool. And the best part, it's free. <laughs> Makes my voice go high. <laughs> if you were to collaborate with another Minecraft YouTuber, who would it be? I have no idea. Where do you get your ideas? Now I'm presuming you mean my redstone ideas, which mostly comes from you guys. I read your comments and I see what I can make. Now of course I can't make 
everybody's video. I know some of you get a little bit annoyed when I can't make your video, but you've got to realize, even though I'm a small channel, I do get quite a few comments asking for different builds. So I do try and pay attention to every build you want me to make, but of course I can't make all of them. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Can you not do a QA? and a Nah. What is your real name? What, you don't believe me that my real name is Bowtie Man? <laughs> oh, now we're getting personal. No, my real name is Harry. Hello, <laughs> my name is Harry. <laughs> How old are you? Ooh, these are getting quite personal. <laughs> now, I know I have the mental age of about a nine-year-old, but I'm actually 23. When will you do a face reveal? Honestly, never. <laughs> Well, not for the foreseeable future, anyway. Gamer Deadly has asked, Can I get a shout out? No, you cannot get a shout out. Oh, darn! Where do you live? I live in England, as you can tell by the accent, but right down the bottom, right down south, next to the sea. Why is this channel so underrated? Ah, oh, <laughs> that's very nice of you. How many potatoes have you eaten in your life? Four and a half. Are you married? No. Have you got kids? No. How do you have such good editing skills? Um, I really don't. <laughs> but I do like doing silly things with the editing. Um, I just always enjoyed that type of thing. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't call it good, though. What is your favourite redstone contraption? Oh, that's really hard. Because um, I like all of them. <laughs> it's like picking between kids, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> um, probably either my hidden water elevator, because I really like that one, or the 5x5 five five seamless cave door. But I quite like all of them, <laughs> for different reasons. <laughs> How long does it take you to reply to all your comments? A very, very, very long time. <laughs> How did you come up with your name? Well, I didn't. My parents chose it for me when I was a baby. Oh, you mean, sorry, sorry, you mean my YouTube name. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, I've always liked bow ties. I find them very cool. Bow ties are cool. And I'm a man, so, um, yeah, I'm the bow tie man. Do you have a favourite block? It can only be one, really. The Mighty Observer. Is this comment too long? Yes. Did you actually read this far? Sadly. What redstone features would you like to be added? Surprisingly, not many. I really like redstone as it is at the moment. I like how it restricts you, so you have to think outside the box to do various other things. For example, like piston push limits. I like how you have to change your redstone to get around that. But um, if it was going to be one thing, probably a different type of slime block. So at the moment you have a green slime block, but maybe if you had a blue one or a red one, which sticks to blocks like the normal one does, but it doesn't stick to other slime blocks, that'd be fantastic. So you could have massive doors with the green slime blocks and the blue slime blocks touching, but it wouldn't break. That'd be perfect. Do you feel flattered or insulted when people call you the bedrock mumbo jumbo? Now I don't know why people would feel insulted being called mumbo jumbo, because he's kind of the gold standard when it comes to redstone YouTubing. So no, I don't feel insulted, and I do feel flattered. It's very kind of you when people say it. Because I think you're British, do you watch the English Premier League? If so, what team do you support? Yes, I do. I'm a massive football fan, really enjoy it, and I support Arsenal. I know we're bad at the moment, just, just hold it. <laughs> How do you eat? I pick up the food with my hands if it's a sandwich, or use cutlery. I bring it toward my mouth. I chew using my jaw and my teeth. I taste with my tongue. And then I swallow. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Would you rather eat a cat or a dog? Are you quite well? <laughs> but definitely I prefer a dog, especially if it's between two buns, it has onion, barbecue sauce, and then we can call it a hot dog. What kind of tutorials do you plan to make? Well, most of my videos are subscriber suggestions, so suggest away. <laughs> Keep going. Are you going to do a tutorial on the Temple of Mustache? Um, probably not, actually. Firstly, because that build is absolutely massive, and secondly, if I'm going to do a tutorial on it, I probably will improve the design first, so I'd make a new one before doing a tutorial on it. Do you want to join Hermitcraft? At the moment? Not really. I'm fine just doing my tutorials as I do now, so uh, at the moment, no. What is the most embarrassing thing that's happened in your life? There's way too many to recount, but definitely one thing which I really don't like, and it, is, it happens all the time and it's really embarrassing, is when I look at my old videos. Oh, I just cringe. <laughs> they are so, so bad. Hello everyone, and welcome to this Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. After literally so many designs. What other games do you play? 
So besides Minecraft, I love racing games, so Forza Horizon 4, absolutely love that game, definitely recommend that, with both expansions, the Lego and Fortune Island, really good. I love playing a game called Rocket League, that's a really good game, played that for absolutely years. I love platformer games such as Crash Bandicoot, I played the original ones as a kid and I love the Insane Trilogy, and I can't wait until they bring out Crash Nitro Kart onto PC, I really can't wait to play that. And of course, because I like football, I love games like FIFA. And I also love puzzle games such as Portal and Portal 2, great games, and Quantum Conundrum, that's pretty good too. So quite a mixture. Do you play with Legos? I find that quite funny how you say Legos, because in England we say Lego. I suppose it's the same, like in America you say let's do some math, and we say let's do some maths. But getting back to your question, do I actually play with Lego? Uh, no, not really, but in the last six months I actually did get the um, Slave 1, the Ultimate Collection Edition, and I built that, and I love that. <laughs> But I don't really play with Lego, no. But the Lego games, they are good. But sadly, we are out of questions. Now, I don't know how this video turned out. I hope it was alright. I quite enjoyed actually making it. It was quite good fun. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, of course, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one. And I'll see you later. Bye!